Here we have another Asus laptop that came in for no power. I do not know the model number of this laptop, but I'll find out later and put it in the title. We plug the charging cable and the laptop shows absolutely no signs of life. No LED uh, lit, no fan spin, and just no signs of life. We already disassembled the board, as you see here. And let's take a look. The first thing I want to do is plug the charging cable. And I was told by Big Boss that the charging cable is not going into protection mode when it's plugged in. That tells me that we do not have a short on the board. I have the charging cable plugged in. And we have the power connector right here. This is the DC connector. The cable is plugged in. And right next to the connector, I see two MOSFETs. I want to measure the MOSFETs here and see if voltage is getting through. But first, let's measure right here. And I see 20 volts. 20 volts at the connector. So voltage is making its way through. And if we go here, and I measure this point, 20 volts. What about source? Source is zero. What about gate? Gate is zero. And of course, we're going to have zeros here, zero here. And we should have a zero here. And yes, we have a zero. So we only have 12 volts at the drain of this MOSFET and nothing else. Why is that? I mean, voltage is not even making its way through the MOSFETs. That tells me the problem lies within this area here. I do not need to look any further because voltage is not even reaching other areas on the board. Voltage is stuck right here. We have no voltage on gate, so the MOSFET is not going to open and let voltage in. What's causing a no volt on the gate? That's a good question. Nobody knows, but we're going to try to narrow it down. Meter in diode mode, and let's test our gate here. 0 0.6, 0 0.5 voltage drop, our source about the same and 0 0.9 voltage drop what about here gate here is 0 0.49 0 0.42 and we have 0 0.41 so that does not tell me anything right now I was measuring to see if we have a short on gate source or drain let's go to ohms mode or let's go to continuity mode, deep mode. Let's measure gate to source. What happens if we measure gate to source? We should get something in the mega ohms, sometimes 500k, 600k, one meg, two mega ohms. And look at that, we are getting 78 ohms. 78 ohms between gate and source is extremely low. What if we measure drain to gate? 560 ohms. That's also low. What if we measure source to gate here? Same, 78 ohms. And we have a beep between here to here. I do have an exact donor board I was able to look up. And I thought, let me grab it in case we need any parts from it. And that's the donor board right here. Let's go ahead and measure those MOSFETs on the donor board. I think this motherboard was ruled as a CPU or GPU problem. I do not recall. Let's measure gate with source. And I am reading 0 0.7 mega ohms. Okay, that's normal. The reading is normal here. 0 0.5 mega ohms. So nothing in the ohms. 352K. And we have 305K. It's all in the thousands of ohms or 700,000 ohms, 500,000 ohms. So we know that we have a problem with this area. But the question is, which one is causing the problem? Is it the first one or is it the second one? If I want to take an educated guess, I would go with the second one because of the burned flux that I see here. Okay, It looks like this MOSFET may have suffered a lot of heat and it released the factory flux under the chip and that's what this is. I do not see 
flux on this area of the MOSFET. So probably I'm going to start with this one, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's this one, or maybe it's neither. Maybe it's something connecting to the gate that is causing the problem. We do not know, but we have to start somewhere. Welcome to the world of MOSFETs. See that released flux? That's factory flux. The chip is out. And let's measure now. meter in ohms mode and I'm going to measure between here and here and what do we get and now we are getting 388k wow problem solved we were able to pinpoint the problem 370k okay meter in ohms mode and let's go over this one more time if we measure between gate to source, one mega ohm, okay, one mega ohm, heat can affect the reading, one mega ohm is perfect, and at times you may even get, oh well, so that's good, that's very good, let's replace the MOSFET, we're gonna prep the pads, that's enough and I have a MOSFET right here very nice And let's measure now. What do we get? If we measure, right now the board is still hot, so the reading may be a bit off, but let's apply some alcohol to cool it down a bit. Never take measurements while the board is very hot. Okay, so we're going to measure from source to gate in ohms mode. And the reading I'm getting right now is 314, and it's going up because the board is cooling down. 317, 320, in the kilo ohm range, and not in the ohm range no more. And what if we do from gate to drain? 450, and it's going up, it's going up, it's going up, and that's good. That's very good. What happens if we plug the charging cable now? Are we going to measure 20 volts on both MOSFETs? We're going to go to voltage mode and measure. We're going to measure here, and we had 20 volts before, and we have 20 volts now. What about the other side of the MOSFET? And look at that. We have 20 volts now on the other side of the MOSFET, right here. Okay, and if we measure the second MOSFET, this one, we had zero volts on both source and drain, and right now we have 20 volts, and we have 20 volts. Job is done. The job is done. It's almost time for Big Boss to leave, so let me give him the board so he can reassemble it before he goes home. I'll be back. All right, we reassembled the laptop, and good news. I can tell you that the laptop is fully functional. We reassembled it, and Big Boss already left home, but... I want to show it to you on camera, so we can finish the video. And, oh, it's already on. It's already on. I thought the laptop was off. It's already on. Okay? Laptop is fully functional. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. Great end of the day repair. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.